and just from the start, the obvious spot, what was it that uh, that brought you all together? It started with uh, my, uh, well, me, me, Matt, and Delta Spirit. They took us, they took Dawes out on our first tour because we were all close friends from previous bands. Um, that was like that. That was kind of the, the us starting the tours through them, and we always stayed close because of that. And then after that, a couple, like I guess, like six or seven months later, we went on tour with uh, Deer Tick. We didn't know them before, and uh, they were really awesome to us. And um, John and I had a. Uh, we got along we became close friends really quickly and um at the end of the tour he was like you know we should get together and make a record together I, I said sure but I didn't really think that it would happen because I feel like that stuff never happens uh, with that sort of thing like I think there's a lot of people that say like yeah we should totally get together and write some songs and, and record them but no one ever does so I just kind of put it out of mind and then a couple months later he called me and said um so I took February off and I'm ready to do it and I want us to get together and, and uh, if you can come like let's let's do this let's make this record. And so um, that was the beginning of that. And, and once I got there, Matt called me and was like, hey, I heard about your project with uh, John from Deer Tick. Um, I'm not doing anything this month. And I'd love to come and be a part of it. If that, like, if you guys want to, if you just want to do that. And I, so I told John, I was like, well, uh, Matt, that's guess from Delta Spirit wants to come down and sing with us. And at the time, we didn't really know. At the time, like, we, like they hadn't been friends. They, 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 never, they never met, really. Mm-hmm. But uh, John is a really nice guy, and John was just immediately like, uh, "Yeah, let's let's have him down here. I don't care. Like, let's see." And we didn't really know what the nature of it was going to be because we didn't know if we were going to get like four songs recorded or or no songs recorded, or you know, we didn't know what it was going to end up being. And so Matt got down there, and we didn't know if he was just going to be on like one or two songs, or if he was going to be involved in everything. And pretty immediately, we all just started like, you know, Matt and I had a history, but John and him really got along great too, and. And they uh, started after that. They uh, Matt was involved with every song, and that was that was kind of how we recorded them. They ended up recording like twenty two songs. The, the writing process. I mean, you you've got a lot of people in there. Did you did you come in with uh, prepared material, or did it really all happen organically? Um, a lot of the stuff just uh, like happened there. Like there were some songs, me me me, and uh, a million dollar bill, and thanks for nothing that were written there and and more than that even there was also some stuff that that uh that like from previous stuff from the band like i know that like matt songs like they were they were ideas that felt the spirit hadn't really rounded out quite yet and then and then same with like daydreaming and daydreaming was a brand new song of john's it's like he hadn't played with deer tick yet and it just made more sense for the little brother thing than deer tick now, now, with it being uh, you know three three vocalists, did you guys have uh, trouble sorting things out? Was there you know any uh, process of actually stepping on each other's feet when you're trying to to figure it all out? Um, not really. I mean, like each song is sung by the guy that wrote it, pretty much. Other than like one song that I wrote called "Million Dollar Bill," where we all take a verse. Uh-huh. But uh, no, it was pretty. It was pretty simple. Like um, like we like everyone. We're all easygoing guys, and 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 um. Like if there's a song like oh here's the harmony parts like you know any any of us could sing like whatever notes like like uh, you know it could sing higher or low as necessary so it's sort of like he'll sing the lead and like you want to take this harmony or this harmony and 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 every, it just couldn't have gone more smoothly yeah. um, and then we're also all playing the instruments like pretty much on all of it uh, other than drums on drums is my brother Griffin Goldsmith from mm-hmm. Dawes he flew in for. He was only there for like four days, but he was able to get all the drums done in that fast. And um, otherwise, like bass, piano, guitar, all the guitars is all um, the three of us. Now, now in my head, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm totally romanticizing this, this whole ordeal, but uh, knowing a little bit about uh, each of you and mostly about John, he, he's a good partier, John is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so in my head, this is a Lost Weekend style uh, Lennon Rolling Stones thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But you guys remember. I mean, it definitely, it was funny, because, like, cause, like, I, you know, in a very unexciting way, am, am kind of the exact opposite of that. Mm-hmm. So we had a really unique relationship, and, and we still do, and it's, it's it's like the odd couple or something, where, like, I couldn't be more in love with John. He's one of my best friends, one of my favorite people in the world, and I know that we get along. I know that he, you know, might feel the same, but, um, but it is funny how, like, He'll come into town in L.A. or something, or even when we were in Nashville making the record, it's like, like it'll get to be 2 a.m. and the bars are closing, and like I fair amount to drink myself, um, but he'll just be like, "Okay, where to next, everybody?" And it's like, "Geez, Louise, like I have to go home." <laughs> so like we would, our schedules would often just like not match up because he'd be waking up 
in the middle of the afternoon and like I would have been up for five hours already and so like it's it, it, but once we started working together it just couldn't be it would it just couldn't have gone more smoothly so uh, without having heard um, uh, any of the record besides the the single and I, I haven't uh, let myself listen to the live clips yet the direction did you guys have any plan of a direction you, you said you brought all of your songs in uh, and with me 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 I mean there's a there's a bit of a, a throwback there almost a retro thing going there uh, did there end up being um, a, a theme as far as the sound for the record that evolved? Um, I mean, like, not really. Like, it, it was. It when you hear the record, it's definitely like it has qualities of Dawes, Delta, and, and Deer Tick, like that you can definitely point out. But it also um, it has like an immediacy. Like, I think that with every single song, me, 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 being like you know the same going for me, 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 it's just that we play them in the um, um like with the immediate with the immediate arrangement that came to mind and a lot of like you know the little richard yells and like stuff like that like like that's just that's just like one guy was in the studio and he just sang it and then we all just kind of went along with it and and the drum parts and the guitar parts like the piano part and stuff like that was all just like like that song was recorded like you know for three hours one day uh, of the whole experience so it wasn't like nothing was dwelled upon and everything was sort of committed to immediately and we just went with it and that's how the whole record was made, and and I, I like to think that you can hear that on the whole record. Like when you listen to it, you're like, like wow, this sounds like these guys are like, you know, playing the song for the first time because it's actually what's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to tour too. You're going to tour behind this, and it looks like you're matching yourselves up with your uh, your day job bands as well. Yeah, yeah, and that was kind of the whole purpose for the, the whole project because like, um, the reality of it is, uh, you know, we're not established as the guys that might make up other like combination groups like uh or collaborative groups like you know broken bells or monsters of folk like Mm -hmm. i feel like we're all the young guys that 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 haven't sold as many records as those guys so when you're in a situation like that i think it 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 could be a little bit like we can't afford to take time off from from uh you know the the dogs and deer ticks the same way jim james might be able to afford taking a you know a a significant amount of time off from my morning jacket because he knows the fans will be there when he gets back but that wouldn't be the case for us young bands, you know? Mm-hmm. And so with with this, like, from the very beginning, it was like, this is for Dawes and Deer Tick and Delta Spirit. Like, this is, this is, this, the, the purpose of this is to help us. And if it, and if it doesn't, if it doesn't do that, if it, like, overshadows it or anything like that, then, then, then the, the idea of the project, like, is backfired. <laughs> like, we, we, and so it, along that line of thinking, we were like, if, if that's what this is for, and if Middle Brother isn't, isn't really like a, a a band necessarily, but more of just like a record that was made amongst friends. We want to make sure that we get to put our best foot forward, and and, and you know if a bunch of Deer Tick fans are coming because they know that John's a part of this, or or if a bunch of uh, uh, Delta fans are coming because you know Matt's a part of it. We also want to make sure that people know what we really do, and we really put all our time towards, which is you know our individual bands, rather than have just a little brother tour where we have to take time off from our respective bands. We figure like why don't we all just go out together? So you you get your stamina up though because you're gonna this means you're gonna be doing two sets per night, right? Oh yeah, which which isn't actually like uh, that new for us. Like we we uh, we we went out with uh, Jason Bozell and we were his backing band, and we're about to go out with John and Corn Dogs and we're gonna be his backing band. Like we love bringing out guys that we can also play with. And mm-hmm. it was like when we when we first found out about the, out the first found out about the Middle Brother tour, I half jokingly but also if they would let me, I would definitely do it. I told. Uh, Matt and I told the beer tech guys, I was like, if you let me play, like, if you just say the word, I'll play, play guitar in your whole set, and I just won't leave the stage all night. <laughs> uh, I know you're only halfway through the experience now, but could you see yourself doing this again, though? Uh, I mean, um, could there be a future for Middle Brother, or is this just that one-time thing? Well, I mean, I love Matt and John, and I'd love to, I'd love to do it again. I mean, we have no plans to do it because we all have like other stuff coming up. But I'm really proud of the work that we did and. And um, it couldn't have been an easier process in terms of making the record. It really came along at a good time for me with Dawes because, like, we just really were we were free and we were able to. And now, like, I I haven't like I don't see another month like that being available mm-hmm. for for a, a second. But but um yeah, I mean I'm I'll, I'm excited to see how the tour goes and I'm excited to see how you know people respond to it and and you know I'd love to continue making music with those guys. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing the rest of the Middle Brother record. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing the the next Dawes record. Um, thanks. All right, man. Well, thanks so much. And, uh, yeah, good luck out there. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, man. Talk to you soon. All right, bye.